Hey everybody, just wanted to drop a quick review. There's a book that comes out today. It's called Graveyard Shift by M.L. Rio. Got to listen to it a little early. Thank you to Libro.fm for that. And this one is going to be kind of a quick and easy read. I kind of did, I did my good re, good reads review, I can speak this morning, uh, already on it. And to kind of give you a gist of what I said there, uh, it kind of has a little bit of a Scooby-Doo uh, feel to it. There's no dog, there's no mystery machine, but, but the rest of it follows along. And uh, I don't think I don't think the author would be upset either because there's even a line in there talking about meddling kids. So I, I feel like that was un- intentional. So what is this about? This book basically it's very very short. I think it's just a couple hundred pages. Uh, I know the audio book was like less than eight hours, which to me is pretty short. Uh, so yeah, probably in a couple hundred page range, and bunch of people, uh, I think they're all in their 20, mid to late 20s, maybe early 30s, I think is, is all of them. Uh, I did listen to it, so don't always, don't always retain all the facts on audiobooks. But it was, it was a fun lesson, I'll give it that much. So anyhow, they've got this spot. There's a church, it's been shut down, it's got a little cemetery. And it's close enough to where all of them are that they can kind of meet together. And it's the only place close to them that they can have a smoke break. Because, you know, it's today's day and age. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised that there's 20-something smoking. But apparently it's still a thing. Uh, Philip Morris, or whatever they call themselves these days, I know they changed their name. But they, they haven't got out of business yet. I just thought it was the old people keeping them in business. So they meet up, they have the smoke breaks. It's an eclectic group, you know. Uh, not everybody's necessarily best friends with each other, but, you know, it's, it's a small... It has a small town feel to it. I don't think they ever actually say the name of the town. But small enough that everybody kind of runs into everybody, I think. It, it sounds like it's a university town as well. So it can't be too small, but... Uh, there's one that owns a bar. There's one that... Actually, I don't know what she does. Uh, there's one that's one, one that's working at the school. There's one that's on the, I think, the school newspaper or something. Anyhow, they hang out in this place. They they have their smokes. This night kind of drops in. This is almost like an overnight thing. This is like I said, it's a very short, short story. Uh, excuse me, it's a very short novella, and. They go to have their smoke break and they kind of realize that there's this new hole dug and this, like I said, this is a shut down church. Nobody there. It's boarded up. It's only still standing because somebody slapped a historical tag on it. And so they start talking about, you know, what the heck's going on? Why would we somebody be digging a new grave here? Anyhow, obviously they don't know. Everybody breaks up. They go their separate ways. The one that runs the newspaper, she's itching for a story, so she kind of breaks into the uh, church there. One of the other guys goes with her. And uh, while they're in there, they hear a noise, and they look out the window, and there's somebody burying stuff in in that new hole. And that's kind of where it goes from there. I won't tell you what they bury, because that kind of gives some of the story away. It takes some of the fun out of it. But the rest of the story is them, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, some people are connected to other people, etc. and so forth. It was kind of a, like I said, it was a fun little read. Uh, it's super short. It's hard to give novellas, not all, but depending on the story type, it's hard, I think, sometimes hard to give novellas a, a really, you know, top of the line rating. I'm giving this one a four, though. I kind of lean towards the three and a half during the middle. Like I said, it, it's quick. It's to the point. You're going through this story. It, it's kind of a, it's not even necessarily a whodunit. I have a feeling that they, they, they know who done it. They're trying to figure out what's going on, why it's going on. But the ending, uh, yeah, definitely has a little bit of that. I said it's kind of a mystery, but you've all seen Scooby-Doo. You know, there's always a little... A little bit of horror type element in a lot of these. Somebody's always haunted or something like that. This one's got a little bit of a horror twist to it, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And the ending, 
the way it ended wrapped it up perfectly. So this one's getting a four for me. It is, like I said, if you want a quick, easy mystery read with just a with just a tint of uh, horror to it, and and you really love a good ending, go ahead and pick this one up. I've got to check out some more of her stuff, and I will catch you guys later.